It's time for the epic chickies to fly the coop. As you can see, I have concocted probably the world's <laughs> worst setup to let the chickens out and kind of roam in this little front yard area. They've figured a way out of that already. So what we're gonna do in today's video is give them the outdoor run they deserve by creating a sort of section here and going all the way into the back. So by the time this video is over, the chickens should probably have at least a tripling of their effective run space, and it will all be controlled by the automatic chicken door. Okay, what we have to do is describe the design because there's some serious considerations when you're letting the hens out day Absolutely. in, day out, which Jacques and Paul and the team helped out with. So why don't you describe the post strategy? Right, so basically we're going to create a four foot tall fence and we're going to start from the right of the door because we want it to make it easy so that you don't have to move something out of the way every time you need to get in or yeah. collect eggs. This lets us open the door without having to open yet another door and go to the eggs no problem instead of making it this whole front exactly. area. Exactly, and then the beauty of having the chicken guard here is that that's going to control the access for the chickens into the outdoor run. So we never have to open that door to let them out. They could just go out through this little entrance. So Which be... will be controlled by the sun. Exactly, exactly. and that's the, the beauty is that you don't have to worry about letting them in and out. They could do that all on their own and this will make sure they're safe at night. So it'll be from like here, I think post out to there. Yep. Post out to here. And that'll seal off this water tank area. And then we'll talk more about, I guess, how to close off that area later. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna open up a lot of space. So over here in the back, we sort of have the benefit of having this side already protected by a predator apron. We have this tank that's offsetting this, so you can't get over here. And then just by simply putting a board by the shed, which is already a natural wall, we're kind of protected in this zone. And this is slim enough at the top that I don't really think any bird of prey is gonna be dive bombing in right. here. Though we really could put some really simple shielding over if we wanted yeah. to. I think we'll probably wait Make on some that bird though. Netting if we really needed to. Yeah, exactly. And then we don't want the hens to get be able to go behind here. So we'll just put a very simple gate. And as we come down this way, it's sort of the same thing ending at the end of the coop. We're just gonna move the mulch out of the way so we don't hit our irrigation line here, as well as actually are working with a level surface. So the apron is of course right up next to this section of the coop here, and I wanna make sure that the post I put in is as close as possible without being right, right up next to it. So I actually have to cut a little bit of this apron open. Okay, cool. All right, let's get the power planter. I can't tell you how handy these have become in the gardening workflow that we have at least. Man, I use them probably once a week pretty easily. Yeah, I mean, look at this. I'm gonna just put two cabinet screws in to hold it in place. And these are nice and thin, so I don't need a pre-drill. There we go. Just gonna use some quick crete on this bad boy, the fast setting stuff, and doing it the lazy style where you just dump in the hole. We'll let it set. Okay. Do a quick little stabby stab. So I'm moving it around a bit. Okay, so now what we wanna do is try to level this ground a little bit because we're gonna wanna make sure that we match up the, the wiring. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And then it's really just solving the back. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. While those are setting, we're just gonna do a simple solution here instead of a super long-term permanent one. This is to avoid the hens from getting underneath the shed somehow. Probably not gonna happen, but why not be secure? Yeah, it's already a big enough gap. We don't want to encourage digging it. So all we're gonna do is just rebar in here. Yep. And do a quick block. So I'm gonna start with the sledge and then come in with the smaller hammer. Yeah, and Jacques gets to use his favorite tool. And this will be hopefully fixed shortly. All good? I feel like I need a third. You think so? I feel on it. Why, just because you, you want to so. do the activity? I mean, I won't go all the way, how about that? You, you, you always go all the way. <laughs> Getting the uh, the shakes over there. Oh, I'm trying to get to widen. Yeah. How does that work? I was just trying to eyeball it. Oh, just get it close. <laughs> it's like that doesn't level. I already <laughs> tried that earlier. <laughs> All right, don't worry. I'm I might not. know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, this is just not long enough. But one of the hardest things in life is having enough straight edges. Seriously, man. That looks pretty straight. Good enough. <laughs> I 
<laughs> we're so bad. At this. We're literally so bad at building stuff. It's because we were always trying to like quick create 30 yeah. minutes. Yeah. It's like, yeah, kind of. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just not ideal no. to like be safe pushing it into that one no. direction. How about this? You hold it here. Okay. I have an idea. Trying to, trying to make progress. Oh, that is pretty wobbly. Yeah, if you hold it here from coming out this way, I could figure out how much we need across this. Do we look like we need to? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this took a little longer than we thought, and we might be a little dumber than we thought, <laughs> to be honest with you. We should have planned this out a little bit stronger. I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of the way this wire looks. Yeah. It's not as sturdy as we really want it to be. That hog panel is probably better for now. What I'm gonna do, the timer's set, I put it on manual so it won't go up and down while this is unfinished, but the sun's getting low, it's winter, so the sun's gonna set in like 10 minutes at 4.40. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna come back in a couple days and see if we can finish it off. Hey Gucci, did you see that run they were building? It's pretty sloppy. Yeah, I don't know about that wire. Like, I know it's called chicken wire, but I'm pretty sure I can get through that. I think we could do a better job. It's been a couple days and the camera picked up a really interesting conversation between two of the hands that honestly made me feel a little ashamed of the build that we had been putting together. So over the weekend, what I did is I picked up some hog panel from Home Depot. It's a little more pricey, but it's also way more sturdy. It's powder coated, black six gauge, and I attached that right here. And then what we did is used some of the old fence panel from the fence in the front yard that we rebuilt. This is just recycled fence panel. So three here, three there, kind of gives it a little nice accent. And then the killer feature that we put on right here are these little fence clips. It is hands down the best way to attach something like this. You just have to make sure you get the right gauge and it comes with the screws and it's like a $7 fix. So this part of the run is done, but we actually have to put on two gates back there with Jacques. So step number one on securing the perimeter <laughs> is getting these gates. Initially, we were just gonna do something really simple, but we decided to stand up an actual gate structure using the hog panel with some similar themes with the one by three from the fence. So Jacques, all we have to do now is actually put the latch and hinges on. Yep. Yeah. And it looks pretty good. I, I think it's, I think it looks pretty sexy if I do say so. Ah, 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 ah. She actually legit tried to tear me up. Ah. All right. Maybe this isn't for, maybe I'm not building this for you. Looks like it's uh, ready to do a test hang. Okay, let's do it. <clears throat> do you want to come on this side so you could look at the straightness of it? I can see it and I can see that it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that it's not. It's annoying, but we just have to take a little more of the apron out. Right here. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So I'm just gonna take out this entire section right here. All right. All right, let's do a test. It's only two screws, but. That's not bad. It's it won't swing because we gotta redo the Predator, that. but that's okay. Okay. So the should question is. Should we do a is, test latch? Yeah, we should do a test latch. Because I still am a little sus that we're yeah. gonna get to that I've edge there. made this exact same mistake. Really? When I built mine. <laughs> so. And here he is helping us out and somehow the mistake's being made again. Ooh, is it too far? It's too far. The smarter play here actually is just to get a latch with a longer thing here and not deal with, because this this is set, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna say that that's gonna work. You think so? Calling it. Ooh. Almost. It's fine for now though. All right, should we hang the other gate? Let's hang the other gate. You guys don't even know what we're going through to make your lives better. And you don't even care. They don't respect this. They don't respect it and they'll never respect it. They'll never know what we've done. Is this what childhood and parenting is like? <laughs> it's light. Should we uh, let the chickens test this out? See if we can find any gaps? Yeah, the moment is here. I have my grubbly's little snacks here, the black soldier fly larva. The hens are inside. Let's open the gate for the first time and let them out. Come to daddy. Come on out, girl. There we go. There goes Lav. There goes Butter. I can hear that snacking. Rufio's tentative, tentative. Well, look at that. I mean, that's just step one. There's so many more things we could do over here now. The planting we can do here yeah. is the crazy part. The planting. Thought is to have some sort of planter box surrounding this bottom area here, at least on this side, not on this side, you'd block the door, um, but something that can grow up and they can forage through the hog fence on, which I think would be really, really cool. Um, and then my girlfriend brought up the idea uh, on the backside of growing something in like a planter box that hangs down that eventually they could 
munch from. So we'll see if that works, but right now it's just put the latches on. They have so much space out here now, guys. They have this whole area. We're blocking it off here. There's a gate over here, a gate over there. I would say we tripled their outdoor space and there's so much more to build. But I'm actually curious what you think we should build here. We could put some protection for hawks. We could put some planters. Show me something in the comments. We will build the most upvoted comment. We will put it right here at the homestead. I think the hens are liking this. Until next time, my friends, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.